Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know I already did an empties video, I think like two videos ago or something. Maybe my last video, I can't remember. Anyway, um, this it, that was my um, makeup empties. This is gonna be like my hair care, body care, skin care type of thing. So if you wanna see what I, all my empties are and if I would repurchase them, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first thing is a hair product. It's the Unite, 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 I think they say, the seven second glossing dry thermal shine spray. So the reason why I liked it is because I heard that thermal spray, um, you shouldn't have like a wet spray because it's kind of counteracting the thermal part. Like it's damaging if you have wet hair and then you put your straightener over top of it or type of thing. So Anyway, I liked it. The gloss on it isn't super, it doesn't make your hair look like greasy or anything like that. So I did really like it. This brand is pretty expensive, but it was really nice. So I would definitely repurchase this. Okay, so I've got two Cinnamon Secrets. I've got a big one and a smaller one. You guys know how I feel about this brush cleanser. It smells amazing. I always have my clients tell me that um, something smells so good and it's always my brush cleaner. Um, but anyway, so definitely recommend this. Best brush cleaner I've ever used. So a hair product, uh, Br the Brio Geo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. First things first is the smell of the shampoo is so good. It's like minty, but like the best minty smell in the world. It's like, I'm so excited because I saw Tati talk about it and how it helped her scalp and blah, blah, blah. And I have psoriasis on my scalp. So I was like, oh, this will like help me. She like raves about it. It didn't really do anything. Like the little exfoliators aren't harsh enough to really exfoliate your scalp. So I didn't find it helped. Maybe if you had like more of like um, a mild itchy scalp or something like that. But I do have like eczema and I have psoriasis. So it just wasn't hardcore enough for me. I love the smell. I love that it's like chemical free. I It doesn't really lather. So I just felt like I wasn't really cleaning my hair and I like a lather in my shampoo. So would I repurchase this? Probably not. It was pretty expensive. I got it from Sephora. I'll probably pass and I'll get something else. Okay, so I've got two self tanners. This is like my ride or die self tanner. It's a Saint Tropez um, advanced one hour tan. So it's a one hour light tan, two hours medium tan, three hours dark. I always left it on for three hours. It's a great self tanner. Um, there's a color guide and color guard or whatever you call it in there. So you know where you're applying it. So it looks darker and then you wash it off and um, it goes to a really nice color. Um, Great self tanner, a little bit pricey, but definitely worth it. I find the Saint Tropez tan has like a green undertone over like a orangey um, undertone, so I really like this one. The two hour, so the Loving Tan Two Hour Express is amazing. Shipping is ridiculous to Canada, so I would go for this one over this one. Um, I don't know how they compare in prices, like just the bottles, but um, the sizes are quite different too as well. But if their shipping was cheaper, I would definitely get theirs, but it's pretty expensive. So I always repurchase this one. I have found my new favorite moisturizer for like sensitive skin. It's the Dr. Jart, I think I've talked about this before, the Ceramedin um, moisturizer. I have two of them. I'm not a big repurchaser, like I haven't, of skincare, because I always like to try new things. But this I really love. It's really thick and moisturizing. You put it on at night and you're still moisturized in the morning. So I have two of them and I'm working on another one. And the, this one, that this new one that I tried has like tea grass or something, or tiger grass, tea grass, tiger grass, tiger grass in it. And it's supposed to like help with redness. Really love it. It's not very expensive. I definitely recommend it. Next up is my all time favorite cleanser. It's the Skin TX Medicated Wash Salicylic Acid USP 2%. I get this from the girl that does my facials. You guys know I rave about her. I just love this cleanser. It's good for acne, it's good for anti aging. It's just really amazing at taking everything off, cleaning my skin, taking off makeup. I definitely recommend this. I've probably gone through six bottles of this. I'm using a different cleanser now and I'm like not loving it. So I'll definitely be going back to this one. Okay, another skincare product is from Walmart and it's the um, Feeling Beautiful Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. Love this mask. So what you do is you leave it on your skin, you put it on your skin and um, you let it sit there for, I don't know how long, five to seven minutes and then you gently massage for one to two minutes. And it's like a sugar scrub and it just like 
makes your skin really soft and it's super cheap. It's a really good exfoliating mask to get all the dead skin cells off. I definitely recommend this. All right, you guys know I love my micellar water. I always either get the Garnier one or the Bioderma one. They're both amazing. I don't like one more or the other. Um, it's whatever one is cheaper and on sale. And yeah, so I went through two of these. So what I do is I take a makeup off of this and then I cleanse my skin. Or with clients, I cleanse their skin with a micellar water and then I go on with moisturizer. Because even when a client says they've cleansed their skin, I don't know what um, they use. So I just like to re-cleanse and get all the oils off so I can start fresh and new. And yeah, so I recommend these. This um, skincare product is Sunday Riley. Stupid expensive from Sephora, but she has two products that are so worth the money if you want to splurge. So it is the Good, Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. And I got this in a duo with the Luna Oil, and the Luna Oil is so, so, so good. So is this one. So this one you can use morning and night, and the Luna one you use just at night, and that one has um, retinol in it. This makes the hugest difference, gets rid of any texture, um, even though your skin tone, it just makes your skin look so beautiful, but it is so expensive. So I usually wait till the Sephora VIB sale is happening where I can save a little bit of money on it. This is a smaller bottle. You guys, honestly, this is like a game changer for your skincare. So if you're wanting to splurge, I totally, totally recommend this. It's so good. Okay, so another skincare is the Dr. Jart Sikapair Tiger Grass Repair Serum. So this is like the serum for the moisturizer I'm using right now. I I just dropped it. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know where it went. So we're just gonna continue on. Um, it was nice. It was all right. It wasn't great. It was just whatever. I I liked the moisturizer, so I'll keep it with the moisturizer and use different serums. The serum just wasn't a wow thing for me, so I won't repurchase that one. Okay, next up is the Hemp's Fresh Coconut and Watermelon Sugar Body Scrub. First of all, the smell, there's still some left because the smell is so good. It sucks. Like, so what I use a scrub for is I exfoliate my body before I tan, or, uh, yeah, so I exfoliate my body before I tan, um, and it just didn't get any dead skin off. It didn't get like my old tan off. I'm honestly searching for a good scrub, a body scrub that doesn't like totally strip your skin and make you feel all dry and flaky, but definitely gets all of that dead skin off. I used to love one from the from Bath and Body Works, and I have never and they discontinued it, and so I haven't been able to find a scrub that I love. So if you have recommendations, let me know because I'm definitely on the hunt for one. Okay, so I've got a um, foundation primer. It's the Natasha Denona Magic Primer Anti-Shine Flawless Face Base. This was really expensive. Natasha Denona, you guys, if you guys know, um, her products are amazing, but really expensive. This, eh, it was all right. There's other primers that I love way more and they're less um, money, so I'll pass on this one. Okay, so this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Preta to Powder um, Dry Shampoo. I think I had this for five years. And I use dry shampoo a lot. So like I did have other dry shampoos, but I used this a ton and I just finished it. You only need a tiny, tiny little bit. It's great for back combing. It's great for getting rid away all your um, oils. Um, I definitely recommend this. It lasts so long. And like, I don't love this cause you have to like, like squeeze it out or like, like that. I prefer sprays, but honestly you waste less in this form I find. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend this one. It's So it's the Bumble and Bumble Prep to Powder. This is my all time favorite eye makeup remover. It's pretty greasy, so if you don't like a greasy eye makeup remover, um, you won't like it, but it just gets everything off. It's the Lancome by Facial one. I definitely recommend this. Um, I don't think, it's a little expensive, but it's not that crazy. Um, but it just gets every single stitch of your eye makeup off. Okay, so last up is the Ryloxin Lift Instant Wrinkle Smoothing Mask. And it has the Allure stamp of approval. So this, there's five masks in these, or there's five masks in this box, and it's pretty expensive. So I would use it for like special occasions. Um, so you put it on, it's like this white paste, and then you wipe it off once it's dry, and then you put your makeup on over top, or if you don't wear makeup, then whatever. But um, it's supposed to, um, it says, Relax and Lift is the only instant wrinkle smoothing mask powered by the patented Silica 
lift technology with results lasting up to 24 hours per application. So it's just supposed to make your skin look smooth. So I bought it because you guys know I hate my forehead um, fine lines. It was alright. It was pretty expensive for the results I got. Um, I don't think I'll repurchase it again. It was nice. Tati, I talk about her all the time, but she recommended it and she like raved about it so I had to get it. And it was good. It just wasn't absolutely like amazing like she said it was. So I'll probably pass on that. Alright guys, so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on my next video. Bye!